Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today it is finally fall in East Tennessee. All of the trees are turning from their green wonderful things to their golds and reds and browns, I guess there's those two. But what's so great is today I have a beautiful blue sky to back it all up. And this tree here behind me is a maple tree. And it is going to turn all of those beautiful colors that you see on the cover there eventually. It hasn't yet. It's still pretty green, but I think it's imminent. It's about to happen. So let's talk today about why things turn from green to gold or red or brown in this book called Summer Green to Autumn Gold. Here we go. It is by Mia Posada. Let's get me out of the way. What kinds of leaves do you see in the summer? All sorts of them. From emerald jade and every shade in from emerald to jade and every shade in between, summer leaves fill the world with green. The secret to their green color is found deep inside each leaf. Tiny parts in the leaf called cells hold even tinier parts called chloroplasts. And inside the chloroplasts is something called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment or color. It is what makes leaves green. Beside, oops. Besides making plants green, chlorophyll has a job to do. It helps make food for trees and other green plants. When the sun shines on a plant's leaves, chlorophyll collects some of its energy. The energy combines with water from the ground and gas from the air to make food. The food helps the plant grow. The green chlorophyll is also hiding something. It is covering up other colors inside the leaf. Orange and yellow pigments hide beneath the bright green. And through the warm summer, they wait, just like me. Slowly, summer creeps towards fall. The air cools and the nights grow longer. These changes tell trees it is time to get ready for winter. The growing season for trees is over. The leaves stop making food. They don't need chlorophyll anymore. The chlorophyll slowly disappears and the leaves green color fades away. Now the hidden yellows and oranges are finally revealed. Some leaves turn fiery red, deep purple or bright pink. These bright colors form inside the leaf as the weather cools. Other leaves have brown pigments hidden inside. As the chlorophyll fades, these leaves turn brown. Many leaves have mixtures of yellow, orange, red, and brown pigments. The world is a rainbow of scarlet and orange, burgundy, and gold. Soon, the stems of the leaves start to separate from the tree. The wind blows them loose. They drift to the ground, piling up. The fallen leaves feed the forest floor. They break down and become part of the soil. They become food and shelter for insects, snails, and worms. The bear trees sleep through the winter. This is their resting time. In spring, fresh leaves sprout from the awakening buds full of chlorophyll and filling the world with green again. All right, friends, that was the book. There's additional information in here on different types of leaves and pigments and what fall looks like all around the world. If you pick up this book, you can read all about it. And I hope your fall is as beautiful as ours here today. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Bye.